Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I am a full-time reseller, and I have another video where I'm starting in my storage unit. However, today we are not pulling sales together. I figured I would do a haul for you guys of all my funky Christmas and winter pieces I've been putting back for the past several months. As you guys know, or if you don't know, as resellers in this clothing industry, we need to be thinking one step ahead, one season of ahead of everybody else. That way we are the first ones to get that season listed, if you know what I mean. Like fall items, I started listing super early, like end of July, early August. Now it is end of September, almost October, and it is super, super early, but I am about to pull all these items and start listing them, start photographing them. I have so many pieces, so I'm not gonna be listing them all at once. I'm gonna be spreading them out for sure. Let me put this bag down, what the heck? This is actually a bag for Market, which I still don't have any on the books, but I occasionally will get stuff like this scarf. Actually, this is a flawed cashmere piece that I'm putting behind until I have enough to bundle up into a lot. Actually, I have three pieces now. I thought I only had one other one but anyways I don't even remember what I was saying but yeah I figured I would show you guys all these items make you aware in case you weren't like give you a heads up hey believe it or not it is gonna be Christmas before we know it which makes me sad like I, t I feel like it was just Christmas already I can't believe it's gonna be winter like I'm not ready for these cold months I'm not I'm not sure about you but anyway yeah let me put some stuff away that I photographed today and then I will show you all of these incredible, funky, vintage Christmas pieces, winter pieces that I've been putting back. So I have a ton. As you can see, I kind of have some stuff shoved in the shelf right here. There's some stuff in this tote. There's stuff in this tote. And there's stuff in this tote. Like, there's so much stuff. That's why I said I'm not going to be listing it all at once for sure because there's so much. I really need to move this canopy elsewhere. That's kind of annoying, getting annoyed at seeing that every single day. But you guys, I listed these today. Typically, I sell clothing. You know, I typically don't go outside of clothing. Sometimes I will. This is a sheet set. And actually, I'm listing these pieces all separately. If you did not know, Brooklinen is the brand. It's a really expensive brand. And actually, that brand has sponsored some YouTubers that I've watched, like some lifestyle YouTubers that I watch occasionally, which is so funny. But I found a king sheet set in the bins yesterday. And... I counted this as one piece, so I only paid $1.24 for this entire set, and they go for a ton of money. Like, you can get, like, $100 plus for a pre-owned sheet set. This is linen. Even the cotton ones go for $100. It's wild, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that in case you didn't know. Y'all, I'm pulling sales that I made today. Actually, it wasn't a bad day. Neither was yesterday. And the day before that is when I filmed that pool with me, pool sales with me video. And I was talking about how slow the weekend was. Ever since then, things have been pretty good. But I made a four-piece bundle sale on Poshmark earlier. All fossil bags. Literally all fossil bags. I'm like, wow. So this person added four fossil bags to their bundle. Three of them are like this woven material which I feel like Fossil is really known for. This one I literally just listed. I'm really picky with this brand and I was gonna leave this behind. I literally just got this last week. But yeah, three of them are that. This one is this. So they added all four of them to their bundle and then they sent me a $55 offer. So that was pretty much half off of what the bundle price was. And I sat and I thought about it for like five minutes and I'm like, hmm... Do I want to accept such a low offer? And I'm like, you know what, Ashley? You got all of these from the bins. Definitely. Meaning you paid like a dollar for each of them. Okay. Don't be greedy. <laughs> You're complaining about sales being slow. If you counter this offer and lose it, are you going to be mad? Yes. The answer is yes. I would have been mad at myself. I would have been so upset. So I just went ahead and accepted. And I'm really happy to see them going. I'm really happy that the one is really quick sale. Like, yeah, that's a really good profit. My... After my cost of goods and Poshmark fee, my profit is still like $40 on that. So I cannot complain. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. 
but I'm not going to show you anything else that's sold. I'm going to go pull the rest of these sales and then we'll get into the funky Christmas pieces. I still can't believe I'm saying that. So I hope that music is not too loud. This lighting is decent over here. Back there, it's really dark. So hopefully no one walks in either because they will hear me like being really loud talking to myself. <laughs> but I'm sitting on the floor. Yes, yes I am. I've pretty much been sitting most of the day, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I it was a very heavy computer day. I took some photos, but I listed like 20 items. I got some stuff scheduled. I did a lot of computer work on Vendu, and here I am sitting again. But anyway, let's jump into it. I don't even know if I'm gonna show you all of these today, to be honest with you. I might show you some of these another day. But let's jump into it. This first piece, some of these aren't even like just Christmas items. A lot of these are also winter items. So I really need to pull some of these, bring them home, and start photographing them. This is a women's sweater. See what I mean? Not Christmas. Definitely winter. And this would definitely sell right now. Look at this. <laughs> Snowflake vibes. Vintage. I'm shocked I didn't take this to a market. This will probably list around $30 or so. Some of these, I think... I'm gonna bring home with me and I have an extra bag. Where did I put it? I don't know. But anyways, this next piece is literally just a flannel shirt. What is it? Oh yeah. Uh, JC Penny probably, yeah, I don't, honestly, I might throw this in. Market finds, I don't really want to list that. Can't remember if Cassie gave that to me or not. She gave me some plaid flannel shirts a while back. This is a Christmas piece. Look at this, you guys. I love cute vests like this. Oh my goodness. Velvet. Christmas theme. Flat back. So cute. This. Oh yeah, this is a button up shirt, which I thought was so cute. Cabin Creek. Patchwork vibes. <laughs> Total Christmas. Freaking love that. This is a women's size large. Total cottage core vibes, in my opinion. Cabin core. I don't even know if I said that. This is literally just a sweater. Made in the USA. Super soft. Argyle print. Love that. By Robert Bruce. Men's size medium. Does it say the material tag? Or material content? I don't know. Oh, yeah. It does right here. What is this? I don't know, but it's union made. It does say that. What material is this? Does it not say? Oh, 100%. Oh, it's acrylic. Wow, okay. Well, this is really soft. Like, really soft. I'll probably list that close to $30 as well. Here's another kind of winter, not really Christmas, a winter piece. Fair Isle. Vintage again. Most of these pieces are vintage. You know what I mean? Like, if you guys don't know by now, I love picking up vintage sweaters and vintage pieces in general. That'll probably list close to $30. This is just a winter piece. I remember picking this up, but this is shimmery, kind of rainbow metallic cardigan. That's what the tag looks like. I don't really know if I should have picked this up. Honestly, this is probably going to take a while to sell, but I'll probably list that right around $20, $25. I'm probably going to fill this bin back up and take that home with me. I'm not going to take everything home with me today to photograph but I'm gonna take a lot of this stuff home here a another vest yeah like I forgot about so many of these pieces this looks almost the same as the other one but it's slightly different <laughs> same vibe look at that you guys oh my gosh plug back are you kidding ah another vest oh look what look this still has the freaking tag on it oh my god I really want to find a denim vest like this that's not Christmas like for myself oh my gosh this is so freaking cute and it's a medium Oh my gosh, you guys. I may have to actually try this one. Ugh, I really want one like this. That is not Christmas. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely found this at the bins. How? I don't know. But um, yeah, that'll probably be listed around $30 as well. Here's a cutesy little turtleneck. I'm hoping to have another market before Christmas because I have a bunch of these turtleneck pieces that I would love to throw on my five or top five or ten dollar rack. This has, oh, actually, this has Scarecrow on it. I should probably just take this home and list this because that is more of a fall piece. I didn't even realize that. What is this? This is, like, such a mystery for both of us. I'm glad I'm going through this because, um, 
Y'all, I need to list this and I forgot about it. Look at this Halloween shirt. <laughs> That is going on top. Same with this other Halloween fall piece. I can't believe that that beautiful denim piece was in here just waiting for me and I didn't even know about it. Look at this sweater vest. Yeah, some of these are not Christmas. Look, freaking love it. Probably list that around 25, 30. What is this? I don't even remember. Oh, I do remember picking this up. Oh my God, so cute. Liz Claiborne, embroidered, total Christmas vibes. That'll probably list around 25. Here's another cutesy turtleneck. This one has dogs and Santa hats on it. Oh my God. So freaking cute. I just love these turtlenecks. Lightweight. I feel like my mom wore turtlenecks like this all the time growing up. When I was growing up, I my back is hurting me so bad. Oh my goodness. Like when I was growing up, I never really understood like what my mom meant when she said sitting on the floor for too long hurt. But now I get it. Like, oh my gosh, I feel so old and I'm only 31. This is a Christmas piece. I don't know why I didn't button this up. Most pieces I button up, but a denim, denim Christmas shirt. So freaking cute. I need to, I might keep this honestly. This is so soft and would feel like oversized. Like I feel like I would wear this open with like a white tank or something like that. I don't know. Might try that on later when I get home. This, oh, I remember. If you guys remember me getting this in a haul, comment down below because I remember saying back when, before my first market even happened, like I picked this up and I'm like, oh, I envisioned this at a Christmas market. I forgot about it. Look how cute. It's actually two pieces, little velvet dress with this little like apron type thing over top. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I freaking die every time. I love all this embroidered, ugly, cute stuff. Like this sweater for instance so out there but I love it like look at the detail on that so embroidered so 3d somebody's just gonna love that and that's an 1820 I love selling you know those plus size pieces as well this was actually my son's so cute oh there's a dust ball in there that's not for sale <laughs> what is oh I remember getting this at a yard sale in the summertime. Look at this denim dress, you guys. Are you actually freaking kidding me? <laughs> so cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the first year that I have put stuff back for like Christmas and winter and fall and stuff. And this is just so exciting for me. I need to do this more often. This, oh yeah, such a winter piece. So cute. Oh my gosh. I love selling little ugly sweater vests like this. I need to button that up, but you get the gist. I freaking love it. We're almost done this tote. Here's another sweater vest. Yeah, I definitely need to list some of these pieces now. Probably wait a little bit. I mean, October is pretty early to start listing that stuff. But like I said, I definitely want to be one of the first to get those funky pieces and Christmas pieces out there. And I have already noticed, you know, Christmas pieces selling. Even a month ago, they started selling. This is like a neutral, more neutral piece, which I really, really like. Love that little kind of moose or reindeer. Oh my gosh, my back is hurting so bad. These, I remember these snowman jeans <laughs> by Quacker Factory, 14. I freaking love those. I actually sold a pair like this that had daisies all over them before. This, oh, I do remember this. Now this is pretty stained, but it is from 1996 and it is from USPS. So from USPS, like, are you kidding? Look at this. Cause they are really, they're the real Santas. And that's so funny because even before they knew, like, that they would be really the real Santas from people ordering online. Look at this. This smells so bad though. Like, but look at this. Stamps were apparently 32 cents back then. Yeah, they're like double that now. Look at this, you guys. I have no idea what this will go for. No idea. But since it's USPS, I feel like that could possibly go for a pretty penny. This is the last thing in this tote. Zip up sweater. Again, kind of neutral. Love that cottage core, cabin core vibes. I am just so excited. Okay, let me put on that other tote real quick. 
<sighs> okay, I hope I don't have shoe prints on my butt when I stand up because I'm sitting on my shoes and I have a feeling they're dirty and dusty. But we have another tote here. I believe this is all I'm going to show you. I still have so much shoved on these shelves, you guys. I'm like shocked at myself by how much I put back and maybe I shouldn't have got this much stuff. We'll see at the end of the year. But anyway, okay, I remember putting this back. This is another kind of winter, not Christmas piece, reversible North Face. Actually, this looks a little big for my daughter, but this might fit my daughter. This is so soft. So freaking soft. What size is this? Medium 10, 12. Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm pretty sure I'm going to wash this and keep that for my daughter because she is, she wears like an eight in jacket. So why would I not? That is a great jacket. This, oh, funky, 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 funky. Oh my gosh. Kind of mixed between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Look at that. I freaking adore this. I love pieces like this. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So this is more of a fall piece. So yeah, I'm really glad that I'm going through this, you guys. It's kind of like fall-esque, right? Yeah, like I need to get that listed. Extra large, jerseys, no year on it. Sometimes these graphic things will have years on it, but not that. That is, that's wild. I had a lot more fall stuff that I didn't realize. There's a little scarf. What is this? Oh, this is a... Ugh. Apparently this stuff is dusty. It's like digging up the bins again. But this is a vintage apron. So cute. Oh my gosh. Little girls piece. Yeah, a lot of this stuff I'm like, uh, should I have gotten it? I don't know. What is this? Oh yeah, what? Why did I throw that in here? How did that get in here? Did I think that I was going to... All right, I'm a little confused because this piece was in my inventory, this dress. I actually sold it. And then I had to cancel the order because I couldn't find it. And now I'm like, how did it get in here? <laughs> was I thinking I was going to bring it to a Christmas market? I'm not sure, but that's not listed. I'm not going to list that because even before it sold, like... It was listed for like two or three years. So not even going to bother with that. But that is just like mind blowing. I don't remember doing that. I don't understand how that got there. Anyway, this is a vintage jacket. Probably would not have picked this up again nowadays. So I don't know why I got this to put behind. I think when I first got the idea to start putting stuff behind, I just kind of got excited and started grabbing a lot of stuff. But some stuff's... Some of this stuff are gems like this. Look at this, you guys. This is Talbots. I remember super old Talbots. Shetland wool. Look at that tag. Super cute. I'm sitting in the most awkward way. I'm so sorry. Super cute Christmas sweater. Vest. Oh, that I definitely would have picked up. No. This, a little corduroy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes. I need a freaking, oh my gosh. Pumpkins. Why? Why? Luckily, you know, I mean, it is like almost October. I really need to get that stuff listed. Like, yeah, I don't even know. This is a vintage Oshkosh. Some of this stuff. Yeah, I remember some of this stuff I was thinking like, oh, this can be for a Christmas market like this. Vintage Oshkosh leggings. And this, which honestly, like, nobody would even probably buy this at a market. So I might end up donating that back. Oh, this is so cute. I do remember finding this fleece jacket, but look at this kind of fair aisle reindeer Christmas print. Are you kidding me? And this is just Alfred Dunner. Yeah, Alfred Dunner. Somebody's definitely going to love that. I'll probably even list that close to $30, which is my blow, you guys. Oh, I forgot about this. Poo. Nightgown. Fleece. Yeah, like, come on. When I see this stuff at the bins in, like, the summertime, I can't leave it behind. I'm not going to list it then, but I can't. I can't leave it behind. Here's another turtleneck. So, yeah, you guys, it is getting kind of late. I have to go pick up my kids, so that is all I'm going to show you today. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and sorry for the bad lighting. I'm sorry for the awkward kind of setup here, but... I really like these more casual kind of plop down wherever I'm at videos, you know what I mean? And I like watching them 
as a viewer as well. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate you've made it to the end and I hope you're having a great day, you guys. Great night, whenever you're watching this. I hope your sales have picked up since my last video when a lot of people were commenting saying, yeah, my sales have been slow too. I hope y'all sales have picked up a little bit. Like I said, I feel like the past couple days sales have increased a little bit, but not a ton. And you know, reselling is a roller coaster and there's always ups and downs. We just got to kind of ride through it, you know, but anyways, you guys, I appreciate you and I will see you in my next video.